This one blows up easy, that one blows up very difficult. <laughs> that you, it didn't come with it, did it? You had to buy it separate? doing great. Wait, don't cut me off. Not so sure this is a good idea. Already you've created you created an issue. <laughs> she says like this don't work for me. How long have you been married? That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, so long you forget. You know, I wonder how you the um, advanced element. And the valve was leaking. Yeah.
Yeah, and we were kayaking in, Mar in Virginia, so... And that's nice, because you can launch right from the campsite. October. Yeah. So today there was a mallard duck swimming by, paddling past our campsite, and I said, Cheetos, and that duck turned around and climbed up into our camp, and I went up to the, and I went up to the RV and got some Cheetos and threw it to it, and it was very happy, it ate the Cheetos, and then it climbed back in the water. I, it, I said Cheetos, and it came, came to me, made a 180. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll try yogurt, see if it comes for yogurt, I bet it won't. There's Comorants up ahead. They're comorants. They're diving birds. But they swim with their bodies underwater. Um, yeah, there's a tree with three birds sitting on it, or two birds. And then there's two birds in the water. And those, and in Asia, they put a ring around those birds' necks. And the birds, they train them, and the birds swim down and catch a fish. But because there's a ring around their neck, they can't swallow the fish. And then the, he comes back up, and the fisherman takes the fish from the bird. I know! <laughs> well, I guess they, they take them good care of them, and they feed them in the evening. They just, you know, they, they're not allowed to eat. I guess they, uh, they're not... Not very big fish, but but they catch lots of them. And see, they they dry their wings because they get waterlogged because they their bodies are underwater. Yeah, they're actually running across the top of the water once they get going. And then in Florida, there's a similar bird, but it's bigger. And it's called a snakehead or an anhinga. And it's, it, it actually flies underwater. And so when it swims, all you see is its head sticking out.
Well, I mean, they use their wings and uh, with a flying motion, but underwater. And they're, they can go really fast. Nice here. We're shaded or shielded from the wind now. I love those rocks over there. Is it, uh, and yes, look, my, my GoPro tube mount handle that I made, I can just stick it in my light vest. And then it's like a chest mount camera. I thought it went around the corner and then kept going here somewhere. Right? But the island was just in a... I thought it was in like a bay. Oh, I spoke too soon. All of a sudden the wind... Whoa! Yes. Holding air. Is, is your butt wet yet? From dripping. It's very deep, if I remember from that cruise we took last year. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure on yesterday I saw a Loch Ness Monster last night.
I don't mind if you do, but we should be okay leaving alone. You're going back? like the Titanic. Is that what that inflatable tube is for? So to lock that in? Oh, this, um, these two strings are great. Yeah. Yeah, my seat's not moving back. I can lift my butt up and scooch back in if I get sunk down too far. Before any movement I made, the seat would scoot back, yeah. I'm happy with this one. This one, I mean, it's probably not nearly as efficient as yours, and I probably can't go as far, but 
for my big clunky body, this is perfect. And, you know, if this thing lasts three or four years for the price I paid for it, Right there? Yeah, it's a root. We're coming to the end of the line. where we got in either it really wasn't that bad nah. I don't think it's gonna go very far at all actually I gotta be careful of sticks I see a sharp stick a sharp stick sticking out of the water unless it's an animal because it seems to be moving 
Right button, right?
was Vicky that was in the kayak, right? And Elaine was the one that the troopers were talking to. And Bonnie is with Craig on the other side of the street. He's an avid camper, right? But in this case, she's camping with her son, and, and more than likely her son's camper. Yeah, I thought I remember she had a smaller one. None of them are the lady we met at Kip the Peak. You, you've never camped with that lady, right? I think so. It's going to start getting chilly pretty soon. Or do you want to... Yeah, I'm, I, I don't know how much more I can go. No. I mean, uh, yeah, I looked at it, but... It didn't look like it had convenient water access, though. Yeah, I was sitting there.
really. Well, I'm going to go in over here. A, there's a big mountain bike trail park near here called Ali Griffith, and Mom and I rode to there, and it was like up a giant hill to get there, so Mom was like completely worn out, and finally Mom said, forget it, I'm just, so we met up with her, and uh, um, so don't say anything incriminating, I'm videotaping as we're talking. Oh yes, tell me more. Tell me more. In your own words. Actually, well, I, I did not steal anything, but I had a 